Well, hello everybody. It's Dr. Carmen Bryant. This is Car Chronicles, and obviously I'm in the office today. But I did a whole video, and then there was no sound to the video, so I have to do the video over again. So let's talk about love bombing. I know I've talked about this before, but um, I wanted to go back and talk about it again, just to keep you on on your toes with your skills and and your discernment. You guys ready? Let's do this. So you know that love bombing is a manipulative tactic to give you that excessive attention, adoration, you know, uh, it, it's like you're being overwhelmed with it. They overwhelm you with it. And you have to understand why will someone overwhelm you with this much attention and affection is because they want something from you. Uh, narcissists do not know how to express themselves. They do not, how to get, do not know how to get their needs met. So everything that they do, they do it uh, in manipulation. And so to manipulate you because I want something that you have or you look like someone of value. There's something that I want from you. And it begins, I always tell you guys, when you meet a narcissist, it's not a, a, a rapport building type of thing. You know, when we meet each other, or when you meet someone that you may have a romantic interest in, you're getting to know the person. You're getting to see whether you're going to get beyond the data collecting uh, stage, which is the dating phase. Dating is not a, uh, you know, a definitive, we have a title and this is what we're going to do and we're going to talk about our future. Dating is collecting data to see if you go to the next level called courting. Courting is where we're going to see, first of all, dating is to see whether or not I'm even interested in you in the long run. You know, do we need to take this to another level where we are, you know, inclusive? You know, you're collecting data you, you, and they're not collecting data. They're collecting data intel against you. It is more of a, instead of rapport building and getting to know and collecting data, it is I'm trying to find your weaknesses. You, you're basically with the enemy. And now, hopefully you ain't sleeping with the enemy at the time, but you're with the enemy. And what they're doing is collecting intel to see what your strengths and your weaknesses are. Because they're going to hone in on your, your weaknesses. And in that honing in of your weaknesses, you know, they're collecting intel, meaning that they're not building rapport. They are interrogating you. And so the way that they interrogate you and to open you up is to love bomb you and look to see what it is that there, where there's a hole at. Where is there a hole in your heart? Everybody has vulnerabilities. No way that anybody can ever say, I'll never get, I'll never, I'll never. Everybody has vulnerabilities. And when you're in a romantic relationship, that's the most vulnerable you're going to be with your kids. And in a romantic relationship, that's where you're going to be vulnerable. The people closest to you can hurt you. And so in that love bombing stage, you know, you'll get excessive compliments, you know, uh, and, and pay attention to your love language. Because your love, even though that's your love language and that's the way that you interpret and understand love, your love language is also an indicator of that's where your needs are at. That's the needs that were not fulfilled. This is the needs that have not been fulfilled and you're desperate for that, you know, and they look for things like holes like that. They look for things like you want excessive admiration or you want, uh, uh, what is it, quality time or you want, you know, the words of affirmation, the quality time, certain things that you want that they, they're 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 watching you. They're collecting that information. And so they'll give you, they'll overload you, they'll overwhelm you, overstimulate you with what you want the most. It's like it, it is almost to a point where for some people, the more you compliment me, the more it begins to irritate me because you're surface. Oh, you're so beautiful. You're so fine. Oh my God. You're so, you know, attractive. And oh my gosh, I, I can't believe, let me buy you this gift. Let me, it's almost like you start to get gagged, you know, you're, you're getting suffocated because is that all you see is my external? Do you not see anything internal? You don't see my intelligence. You don't see this. You don't see that. All they see in the superficial compliments. And some people are thirsty. And some people want that. And so they'll give it to you until they choke you. You know, but they'll keep giving it to you. And there are some people that are so hungry for that type of attention. And that's how they bait you. That's how they hook you. Because it doesn't last forever. It just lasts enough where they can lock you down and, and, and uh, uh, you know, get you. But that constant admiration, that constant phone calls and texting, you know, even to a point where they cross over into your boundaries. You're giving up your boundaries. You, your firm boundaries, I go to sleep at 9 o'clock because I have to get up at 4 o'clock, you know, and they're, oh, you know, I know it's 10, 11 o'clock, but I was thinking about you. I couldn't tell. Okay, well, think about me another time. Or you putting your phone on snooze, but now you're anticipating the calls to a point where it even runs into your times that you may have to work, runs into your times where you have to do things with your kids, you know. Now they're getting also jealous over your time. They're, they're upset now that you don't have that excessive time. They're calling you at all hours, even at work. 
and you find yourself trying to find a reason to get away from the desk or to pick up the call or to text. Instead, before you had boundaries, you put your phone on um, uh, do not disturb and you did whatever you did. And then after you finish working, then I get to my calls. They get to the point where they start making you feel bad. Like, you know, I thought you cared. I can't help but think about you. I've never met anybody like you. You're the best thing that I've ever met. The part that they're not telling you is the best thing I've ever met since the last supply. Because you're a new you're a new leather smell. You're a new car smell. And so this is something new. But once I break you in and put like 23 miles on you, then I'm bored with you and I need something else. Because they lose interest pretty fast. But the love bombing will overwhelm you because this is something that you've always looked for. You find yourself telling your business. You're telling them things that you haven't told other people. You're telling them things and you're going overboard with the information that you're giving so fast. And you notice that you're doing all the talking and you're telling all your secrets. And you're thinking like, I've never, you know, I've never opened up like this before. These are things that people don't know about me. I haven't even told my therapist, you know, you know, you're, you're see, you, now you got diarrhea in the mouth. You're talking too much, you know, because you're giving them information and they know exactly how to ask you those open ended questions. The things we learn in therapy open-ended questions where it's not a yes or a no it requires you to respond it requires you to pour out that information and that's what they're waiting for and then you're just sitting there you know it feels so comfortable it's like I've been knowing this person for years I've been yeah because they know how to manipulate to make you feel comfortable they know how to put your guards down to make you feel comfortable with them and to take your words and use your words against you it's not like they're learning something new what they're doing is, is they're watching your habits they're watching the things you talk about and what interests you you may be a family oriented person you may be a, a goal or career oriented person whatever it is that you disclose to them is what they ride if music certain types of music country music rap music you know what is do you like traveling you know whatever it is that you're putting out there it because they mirror you now you know because when they present themselves to you they present themselves with the attributes of the last supply the good things that they liked about the supplies the good things that they show uh, to you so that it, it'll hook you but you're you're thinking to yourself i've never met somebody like this things are just moving so fast it's like you know i'm on cloud nine watch it when your emotions are in the way because what they're hoping that you do is that you it's not decision making you're you're reacting off of emotion so you're all your decisions are based off of your emotion. That's bad. That's a red flag. Because you never should make uh, a decisions based off of your emotions. I feel he or she makes me feel. And it just feels right. It could be so wrong. You know, when you're all into your feelings like that, it, it's probably 100% wrong. And, you know, you need to back up. Because you are falling too quick. Especially those of you that already have, like, emotional disorders, mood disorders, trauma, complex trauma. Where you get stirred up and you get pulled in real quick. Quick, you attach really, really quick and really aggressively, and and it's hard because when someone breaks up with you, you take it very hard, and you've only known them for a hot minute. Now here you go, they're love bombing you, and 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 they're emotionally needy, you know. So they're they're forcing you to to put aside things, you know. You 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 they're crossing your boundaries. They put aside things so that they can get all the attention. They want all the attention, you know. Uh, the other thing is is that um, uh, they move really quick. They're talking about children and homes and building together and building a business and oh you know you got this and you're building this and you know we can do it and this is you know, have you ever thought about it? so they're they're into your future already they've jumped you into the future because that's what they want and and you agree with them so you keep going that's that's too fast why are we going to meet your mom and i've only known you two weeks I mean, no reason for me to know your mom you know i just want my mom to see you because you know my mom got good intuition let your mama we're gonna wait we we ain't got to go see your mom. What, what we doing? Because they move, they move real quick. They try to move you into position real quick, especially when they leave an old supply and get to a new supply. They try to hurry up and regulate everything like the old supply. They try to put you in position to regulate you so that it looks like you have this, this you know, because remember, it's all about their appearance and what it looks like. And the last supply could have left, so they're trying to regulate to show everybody, I'm, not, I'm okay, I'm good, you know, I moved on. Look how quick it is. And they try to put you in these roles real fast that you weren't ready for. You guys moving and, and you're doing this and you and I want your kids to call me daddy or mom. You know, that's too fast. Kids moving too fast, too fast. But surprise appearances, they just pop up in places, you know. Uh, and it's really, it's a start of the fear tactic. But they first, it, it's, it's kind of cute that they pop up all over the place. Then when they need more control, they pop up in places so you can see their face so that you can re-regulate yourself. But I just wanted to bring up just a few things about love bombing that I want you to pay attention to. It's in the details, the little details. Pay attention to those little details. And when you get that uneasy feeling, go with your instinct. 
go with your instinct because it may not be right. 